right, so in this video, I want to show you how to install Joomla user activity as well as the project fork user activity. It's important to keep in mind that they are total different packages. Uh, the Joomla user activity shows for Joomla changes, while the project fork user activity shows for project fork. So um, let's go ahead and install the Joomla user activity. We'll go to extensions, extension manager. We're going to upload the file, which is the user activity package 1.2. We'll open that, upload and install. Now, after the package is successfully installed, we want to enable the module and the two plugins that come with it. So let's go to extensions, module manager. Here we have user activity and we want to select the position. Now this is the position that you're using um, whatever template that you have enabled in the front end this is what it, where it's going to show. So you want to place it in the position that you'd like it in. In this situation or in this scenario we're going to use goggles. We're going to set it to the top and we want to publish that. And we're going to set the menu assignment to all pages. Save and close. All right, now we want to enable the plugins. So we'll go to the plugin manager and let's do a search for user activity. And we want to enable the user activity for both of these plugins. Okay, now it is installed. What do we want to do next? We want to see the user activity changes um, for Joomla. So let's go ahead and make a change here. We're going to go to um, we're going to go to Content Article Manager, and we'll make a change to the getting started. Let's see. We'll say I'd like to learn more about Joomla, and then we're going to save and close. Now, if you go to the front end, you're not going to see this user activity in the front end. So let me show you this. I'm going to log in. You see that user activity is actually enabled at the top position. There's no matching results. And the reason for that is because we did not create this in the front end. Okay. Um, right now, it will show in the back end. So if we go to components, we'll go to user activity. And we want to set this to administrator. Here is the user activity information for that. Now, if we want to see the site change, what we'll do is create the change within the site page or the front end. So we'll edit this and go back here. And we're going to delete that. And then it should show in the front end. Save and close. Super administrator updated the article getting started. Okay, so you got to make sure you edit where you want to edit, and if you want to see it in the back end, then you just change this over to site. And here, super administrator updated, getting started. Okay, so that is the Joomla user activity. Now, if you want to change permissions, you would go to components, go to user activity, it's already there, or go to options. And then we'll change our permissions here. So you would select the user that you want to change the permissions of what they get to do and what they get to see in user activity. All right, so let's cancel out of this. Now we want to install for Project Fork. So let's go to Extensions, Extension Manager. And for Project Fork, it comes with the plugin and the module actually separated. It's not just one package, so you want to install each and every one of them individually. So we're going to go ahead and install the plugin. So here's a plugin. You'll see user activity project fork. We'll open that, upload and install. The plugin was successful. Let's go to the plugin and make sure that that's enabled. Here's the user activity for project fork. We'll enable that. Then we're going to go back and install the module. And let's look. Look for the module here. Here's the user activity project fork map module. Open that. Upload and install. 
So the next thing we want to do is enable the module. So we'll go to the module manager. We'll do a search for user activity. This is the project fork user activity. And here we have project fork site. We want to set this to published. And I want to create this um, right under the dashboard at the bottom. So just to keep things clean, I'm going to type in the dashboard bottom. Menu assignment will be set to all pages. We'll save and close. Now let's make a change to Project Fork. So let's go to Components, we'll go to Project Fork, and we're going to go ahead and just change one of the tasks to public. So we'll say Research Competing Sites, and we want to set this to Public. So we'll set this to public, save and close. And again, if we do something from the back end, you won't be able to see it from the front end. But if we go to user activity here, and we go to administrator, you'll see we just updated this task. Now, let's go to the front end and make sure that the module has been enabled. So we'll go to the dashboard. Scroll down, and here's the module enabled. So let's make a change from the front end. Let's go to one of the tasks, and we'll set Add Core Joomla CSS to Public. Public. We're going to save. After we've done this, we should see this in the front end. We'll go to Dashboard, scroll down, and here's Add Core Joomla CSS. It's been changed. Now again, when you go to the back and you're within the User Activity Ma Manager, you can change this to Site, and here's the change. So you can see all the changes from the back end. Um, it's the front end that basically, um, if you want to see anything from the front end, you got to create the changes in the front end. So there is Joomla user activity as well as Project Fork user activity. If you have any questions or any issues, you can submit your um, request directly from Project Fork. Just report an issue from this component and it takes you to GitHub and you can submit any requests there. Alright, thanks a lot.